He worked with the Japanese to build a new Japanese civilization. And now, some 60 some odd years after those days, Japan is a free and democratic country because of the policies established by President Truman and General MacArthur. One of the great experiences that I had was learning truly how the Japanese were happy to see us. The Japanese lost millions of people, not only in the military, through all of the wars that they were fighting in Asia and in the islands of the Pacific, but they were bombed. Their major cities were bombed. Millions of people were killed. And when the war ended, the Japanese people were happy that it ended. They were happy that it ended, and they realized that most of the war efforts of Japan were the results of a few dictators who were military men and actually controlled the emperor. In my experience, <clears throat> I had been in the military for two years, and in November of 1944-45, I was sent home to be discharged. And did that and spread the word that the Japanese really deserved to be considered as people who were no longer the enemy. It seems somewhat foolish to even think of participating in a war. In Iraq, we had a choice. We chose to go to war. Now, we have a choice. <clears throat> Afghanistan, we're building up an army to go to war. Do we want to go to war? No. What would have happened <clears throat> if the United States did not enter World War II? What would have happened if the United States did not save Europe, literally? The United States saved Europe in World War II. Sometimes, where we always say, give peace a chance, it's necessary to say, give war a chance. It is foolhardy to allow people to attack you and not respond. It is perfectly okay <clears throat> to be patriotic. Don't laugh when people are asked to salute the flag. Don't laugh when people are asked to recite a Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Don't laugh when an American soldier comes home and is copied or photographed in a coffin by the media which says this shouldn't happen. War is hell, I can tell you that. I wrote the letters home to the parents who suffered mostly when their sons died in war. I know what they went through. <clears throat> I know what the comrades of those men suffered through. War is not easy. War is not glorious. War is not something we want to do. But when it is necessary, we must defend ourselves. Good results can happen if you fight.
for your rights.